Hello makeup fans and welcome to Vloggy a Day 6. Today I'm going to chat a little bit about my hair. Um, this is probably not the best light to do that in. It's not looking very bright in this quite dull night light and I haven't got my big bright lights on but it still is quite red. And if you watch my vlogs then you would have seen yesterday it did look very red and the lovely Vinny of Little Miss Style Guru asked about my hair and how I keep it so red. So I thought I'd have a little bit chat today just about how I do my hair. <laughs> Um, I've done this because basically today I've been very busy in the house just kind of getting everything sorted after Christmas. We've got all the stuff put in the loft, I've hoovered all the way through and done loads of housework today. So I've been quite busy um, and I feel quite shattered, I've got a bit of a bad back but I'm glad I've got it all done because the next couple of days now I can relax, do some videos and just do the odd little job here and there so I'm really pleased I've done that. So that's why today you have got how I keep my reds red. <laughs> now that is my original video. So if you go way way back or you go into my channel and type in keeping red or keeping your reds then you will come up with my first video about my hair um, which was one of the first videos I first ever did so it's probably around April of 2011 is that right yeah 2011 mm -hmm. So it's quite a long time since I've done it so I thought I'd do a little bit of an updated one since I've changed some of the products. So I get my hair dyed professionally, I get it done at a hair salon called Reds, quite appropriately. Uh, they're really good, I pay £45 when I go, it's around every seven weeks, sometimes I can take it to eight but it's usually around every six to seven weeks. And they basically do my roots and then once every three or four times they pull the colour through and leave it in for about five or ten minutes and that just kind of refreshes the colour. Um, but we don't have to do that too much because apparently my hair is very porous or so the hairdresser says they said it holds color really well and that's really good and yeah so that within that 45 pounds um i go and i get the roots done they i get tea and coffee i get coffee and biscuits sorry and then they wash it and they use a deep intensive conditioner on and they do a special trim treatment on it called a symbio and a symbio is just like a, i think it's just like a very intense conditioner that has a lot of color in it as well so I get that done on my hair so I think it's pretty good I'm usually in there for around an hour and a half and they do look after me really well they're lovely my hairdresser is called Stacy and I wouldn't have anybody else do it she does a fantastic job and then she usually trims my hair my fringe as well she keeps my fringe straight because I used to do it myself and then this one time I was in a bit of a rush and I made a bit of a mess with it last year and uh, Stacey was like, no, no, no. She says, you just leave your fringe and I'll cut up whenever you're in getting your hair coloured. So she also trims my fringe and then they dry it. So I think it's a really good price for what I get done. And I really enjoy the experience, to be honest. It's really quite relaxing and it's lovely. So it's nice to get that little bit of pampering. So that's what I do. I get it coloured. I think it's... Um it's either L'Oreal or a Revlon colour, although I'm not sure if they've moved me on to the Noah colours, which are non-bleach formula dyes. I think they did use that on me last time, and I think that's why it came out a little bit more vibrant than it has been. Um, so I'm not entirely sure of what they do use, but I can't ask if anybody wants to know that. So I've washed my hair. Now, this is the part where everybody's going to think it's a bit disgusting, but it's not really. Um, I wash my hair once a week. Now, some people wash it every day. I always think that's a bit of a mistake because your hair gets into the pattern of needing that every day because it's just producing the oils quite fast um, because you're, you know, I think sometimes when you wash your hair too much it's because you're washing it and you're removing the oils so your hair is producing more oils to try and make sure that the oils are there to keep your, your scalp nice and healthy and you can kind of mistake that as, oh I need to wash it the next day but, you know, sometimes if you just leave that one day gap in between it's a bit healthier for your hair because washing it is quite, quite an experience for it and you're stripping your scalp of those essential oils every time you wash. Oh, that's my take on it. Anyway, <laughs> um, so, um, before I got my hair dyed, I'd usually wash it every four to five days. I'm very lucky in that although I do have the, the necessary oils on my scalp because I don't have a dry scalp, it doesn't produce over amounts. So my hair doesn't start to show signs of being needing a wash until around four to five days. It doesn't get any greasiness at all. I'm very lucky in that respect. Um, and then I just kind of prolong it with products. And normally by the weekend, um, I'm not doing very much. If I am going somewhere, then I will wash it before the seven days, um, but normally I don't. So onto the products that I use. This is the shampoo that I use, which is a John Frieda one. And this is Radiant Red. And this is just like, um, it almost looks like jelly. Squeeze some out. That's what it looks like. So it's just kind of a red jelly type shampoo. 
I love the smell. It's got, I wouldn't say it's fruity. Well, maybe a little, but I can't describe the smell, but it's really nice. I love the smell of this. Now, John Frieda are the only shampoos I actually use. Um, I did actually use them when I was a brunette as well. I used to use the Brilliant Brunette range, and they're the only shampoos they actually like for my hair. I feel like they nourish my hair and make it feel nice and silky and soft, and it gives it a nice shine. So that's why I went on to the Radiant Reds once I got my hair coloured. And it's been coloured two years now. And I absolutely love it. I wouldn't change it. I couldn't imagine being another colour. Um, so yes, I used this and it's around, I think these are around four to five pounds, which is a lot of money, but I never pay that. I actually go for these when they're in the offer. So Sainsbury's does these quite a lot in two for seven pounds or buy one get one free if you're lucky sometimes or buy one get one half price which works out around the same um, but I always just pick these up on offers. So what I'll tend to do is even if I don't need it if it's on offer I pick it up anyway because I know I'm constantly going to be needing a supply of shampoo. It's not something where you think you know I'm never going to need to wash my hair again. So I always pick up a good supply of these and have those in um, because you know if it's not on offer it's a lot of money to pay for one tube of shampoo. Um, this shampoo would probably last me, I don't know, <laughs> actually when I think about it, I can probably get quite a long time out of a tube of shampoos. I think it's about six months, no not six months, I don't know, there's an interesting question, now I've just opened this one a week ago. <laughs> Or two weeks ago. I've had two uses out of this so I will keep an eye on how long this lasts me. But I do have a lot of hair. My hair actually goes to my waist. Um, just a little bit past my waist. So I do use a, a good amount of this because I've got a lot of hair and it's really quite thick. So I use this. Then after I've done that I've got this bowl. Now this bowl was actually out of an early learning centre's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that Tony had and it just used to sit in the top and that was the washing up bowl basically um but she used to use this to play in the bath and I actually use this when I'm dyeing my hair as you can see it's got some telltale signs on there that I haven't washed off but the great thing about this is it does just wipe off quite easily which is quite good so what I do with this bowl is I take this advanced techniques this is the argan oil mask and I give a good squirt in the bottom of there and I would say that it's around it just covers, say a circle about that much on the bottom. And I put that in there. And then I get this. Now this is my saviour and this is how I keep my colour as vibrant. This is the Revlon Colour Ball. Now it should be round but I've been squashing it because this part's broken on this one. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. So this is 600 Fire Red. And this product is totally amazing. I'm going to show you the inside. That's what it looks like. I love the smell of this actually. Oh, it's such a lovely smell, but look at that. Really, really beautiful. Very, very thick. <laughs> and I actually do this in the bath. So I take a, a at least what I've put in there of that, I put two times the amount of this. And then I just use the actual part of this to mix it up together. Mix it all up in the bowl. And then after I've washed my hair, I squeeze out the excess water and I give it a brush with this which is a tangle teaser this is an official one that i got from boots so i brush my hair gets out um any kind of loose hairs and things like that because i don't brush it very often either god this is starting to sound quite monkey really <laughs> but i've got really curly hair um so it tends to go quite frizzy so i'll give it a good brush when i wash it and then i do keep on top of the top part of it and i do run my fingers through it and use a wide tooth comb but i wouldn't use like a brush or anything like this on a regular basis because it just makes my hair go a bit wild so i brush it and then i put this on and i leave this on for around three to four minutes and all I do is I just put it all the way through my hair. I start from ears down, um, make sure there's a good coverage on the end. And then I get some on the top as well and on my fringe and make sure that this area is completely covered. And then I just put a clip in like I've got now to keep it up. Sit for around three to four minutes and then I just rinse it off and I just use this bowl. I wash it out in the water and then use this to rinse it off and use fresh water from the top. Then once my hair is rinsed, I then put a towel on once I get out the bath. Now I actually use this old one that we've got, this high school musical towel. I tend to keep to the same towel because um, 
just because I don't want to ruin lots of towels. Um, I could use a black one which wouldn't show the colour quite so much on it um, but I just actually chose to use an old towel. I wrap my hair in that for a while and then I will generally just, sometimes I plait it to sleep with it so it doesn't come out quite frizzy or I just, I always lie with it above my head. I don't like lying on my hair and I never have a kind of tangles like that and it's just not comfortable. So that's it basically. Um, Upkeep other things that I do. I put L'Oreal Mythic Oil on it a couple of times a week and I also use the Avon Argon Oil um, treatment and I use the Avon, um, it's the serum, the ENDS serum. I actually put that on the ends of my hair as well. So I do use some oils that are really good for your hair just to give it nourishment because I don't want it to be dry. But generally as a rule, I mean it's a bit messy because I haven't done anything with it. I don't have a problem with it. It's not... My hair is not dry, it's actually quite nice and soft. Um, I don't actually use any products on it, so on a daily basis I don't use mousse, hairspray or any other hair products. And the only thing I actually do with it is, um, I go on a morning, I'll put my straighteners on and I just straighten my fringe because as you can see my fringe is a bit wild. It tends to curl a little bit overnight um, and I just straighten that on a daily basis and then just clip my hair up. I don't actually do much with it. Um, but the colour ball really is essentially the thing that actually um, helps me keep my red as red as it is. It really does make my hair nice and vibrant and bright. So I couldn't be without that in my little routine. And then, as I was saying, um, once you start to get that little bit of telltale sort of greasy roots around the four to five day mark, then I actually use dry shampoo. And I use this one. Now I was using the blush one, which is the pink one, which is fantastic. It's got a lovely smell. Um, but I've actually found the new one that they've done. And this one is vibrant and red. This is fantastic stuff. I love it. It actually does give you a little bit of red on your hair, which is really good. Because you can start to get just a little bit of fade toward the end of the week. Where the colour ball, you know, it's lost some of its vibrancy. And you start to look not quite as red as you were. And I find that this gives it a boost. I also find that if I want a bit of volume, during the week um, because my hair is very soft if I do want that little bit of volume just to appear on the roots I just spray some of this in and it gives it a little bit of volume which is really great but this smells really nice I like this smell on this one as well so I definitely need to get another one of these I think there's only a little bit left of that because I do use this and this is just a lifesaver because it makes my hair look refreshed it takes away any grease that's there and it just looks fantastic I think it's great um, yes so love that so i would say for me um if you're thinking about going red or you are red and you want to maintain your color definitely check out um a hair salon specialist now you can't purchase this in the shops i actually go to a place at leechmere in sunland and it's actually like a a beauty specialist and it actually specializes in hair and i can't remember what it's called but in that shop you can actually purchase this now you get charged VAT if you don't have one of the cards like to say that you work in the beauty hair industry so i pay i think it's 11 pounds for this and this color ball here will normally last me three months which is actually really good because i'm using it once a week um so i can get like 12 applications out of one bottle so that's not bad going really, I know it's like £11 but it is three months so I go through four of these a year and these actually are quite long lasting because I only use this on my roots because when I do get a little bit of sort of greasy hair as you, as you get to day five it's only the roots that start to show that so I only use this on my roots and like I say I get good money's worth out my shampoo as well um, but the, this mask this was 2 99 for this mask and I don't get a huge amount out of here. I mean, these are not very big anyway, um, so I only probably get um, about five weeks out of this, maybe six if I'm lucky, um, because I do love this, but it does make my hair lovely and shiny and soft. So I hope you've enjoyed that video and I hope I could have answered all your questions that you might have had about how I keep my reds red. If you do have any further questions, please leave them in the information. See, I keep saying the information bell. Please leave them in the comments section below. Um, thank you very much for watching and I've got some exciting videos coming up for you this week in vloggy I've also got a Mac haul to do which I was going to do today but I don't like to do it as the light gets bad <coughs> excuse me and I have been very busy today so I didn't want to do it um, in bad lighting and for you not to be able to see the swatch as well so I've got that coming up I've got a tutorial for the eye look that I wore in vloggy day five I also want to do Haley's tag which is the obsession tag because I'm quite excited to do that one and I also want to do my review of 2012 so I've got some exciting videos coming up for you and hopefully you'll enjoy them so that's it for now I'm gonna love you and leave you and see you all soon bye <laughs>